Okay, today I'm going to show you how to do the Jacob's Ladder, um, which looks like, oh, looks like this. That everybody's been saying that they want a tutorial for. Okay, it looks complicated, but it's really not. Um, you do need to know your basic double crochets and chains and all that. Okay. Um, the yarn I'm going to use for this tutorial is the Bernat Premium in the color Royal Blue. And Sweet Roll Vivid in the color Primary. Okay. Now, I don't suggest that you use um, like all one color in the in a variegated like this or anything because you will lose your Jacob's Ladder in that yarn. It will be too busy looking and you won't be able to see the stitches. Okay, um, and so I would suggest either doing a solid color or doing two solid colors. I think two solid colors or a solid color and a variegated color look the best um, for this stitch because you really want that stitch to pop. So, okay. Uh, so let's get started. You can use any weight yarn you want to do this stitch. I'm using a four weight because that's my favorite. All right. Um, I'm using a 6.5 millimeter hook for this, but you can use a five, a 5.5, doesn't really matter. Um, also, your stitch count for this is in fives, okay? So it's five plus two if you're doing a chain. If you're doing a foundationless double crochet, then you just do your five stitches. But again, my suggestion is when you do this, having your numbers land on a, a like, um, five, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, make sure that it lands on that 5, 25, 45, 55, because that way you will have five stitches on the either end, because if you land on an, um, like 20, 30, 40, 50, you will get five on this side and you won't get anything on this side. Okay, so just food for thought. All right, now I'm not going to bore you with showing you how to do a chain <laughs> and a double crochet row, okay? I think you all know how to do that. So you're going to count out how many chains you need, or I mean, um, in measurement, you're going to count and figure out how, what the length is that you need, all right? And then you're going to chain the amount that comes up to that measurement, um, whether it's 25, 35, 45, 55, and so on. All right, and then you're going to go back and you're going to do a double crochet round, All right? Okay, I just did 25 for this, um, this sample. Okay, so now that you've got your amount of stitches that you need, you're going to be changing colors. All right, so you're going to grab your yarn wherever the end of my yarn is. I'm hoping that this, because it started on purple, it's not going to be hard for you guys to see. I'll bring you in a little bit. Okay. So don't, don't cut your yarn, your base color yarn. Don't cut it because you're going to carry it up. Okay. I just loop it through, tighten my base yarn. I put a little knot in here just to hold it together. Okay. All right. So you take your base color and you pull it to the side just so that you don't get caught up in it. You're going to chain two. Okay. Now this first chain counts as a stitch. All right, so you need to have five stitches. So you're gonna count, 
do a double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, and double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, and five. All right. Now you're going to chain up chain up 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, now this is a little, a little bit of a tricky part here. Okay, if you see at the top of this stitch, okay, you've got uh, here we go. At the top of this stitch, you've got your V stitch here, okay, and then you have another part of the stitch right here, okay. So you have two parts to this. Sorry, my neighbor. I guess their dog went in our backyard. <laughs> so you've got your double crochet here. You've got these two parts to the stitch right here. This is where you're going to be putting your hook. Okay, you're gonna grab, oops, grab your hook. You're gonna put it right in here. Okay, and you're gonna do a slip stitch. Grab your yarn, oops, try and get this out of the way. Grab your yarn, pull it through those two stitches and then pull it through the bottom of that chain that you just did. Okay, I'll do that again just so you can see. Okay, you've got your stitch. You're gonna put it through that top stitch, which is the top of your double crochet, and then this, the bottom of this, the chain right in there. So now you got the three on your hook, you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all three of those um, parts of the chain. Okay? And that's going to make your loop. Then you're going to yarn over and you're going to go into the next stitch. Not this stitch, it's already used. Go into the next stitch and you do a double crochet. Now you're going to do your five double crochets again. Oh, good grief. You've got your one, two, three, four, five. Now you're gonna chain, oops, you're gonna chain up ten again. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Through that to the top of the chain, you're going to go through this loop and through this loop. Okay? Because if you look at your double crochet, you're going to see one part of the stitch here, one part of the stitch here. That's the top of your double crochet. So you're going to go into the top and into this one right here. Okay, so put your hook in there and put your hook in there, All right, yarn over, pull through those two and pull through the bottom of that chain. I really hope that that makes sense to you guys. Okay, 
Okay, now you're going to do five more double crochet. Five, chain up ten. Okay, now you're going to do that again. You're going to go through this stitch here, this part of the stitch, and that part of the stitch. Turn over pull through those two, and yarn over and pull through that chain. Okay, do five more, and you continue this all the way across. go through those two loops there go over pull through those two and pull through that chain okay so continue on uh, until you get to the end and I will meet you back here okay so I have my chains or my uh, loops all done now you're going to chain one, turn your work, okay. Now you're going to do single crochets, okay. And this is where you can get a little bit tricky because if you don't do your count right, um, it'll mess you up. So this chain one counts, so it's one, go into the next one two, three, four, and then you're going to go into the bottom of that chain where that chain came out. You're going to go into the bottom of that chain and five. Okay. Just go back and make sure that you have the fives, the starting chain or the starting single crochet, three, two, three, four, and five. You're going to take this loop, you're going to push it to the back, all right? Now, where that chain, the, this side of the chain comes out right here, that's where you're going to start your next set of single crochets, okay? So you're going to start, you're going to end on this side of the, the chain here, and you're going to start on this side of that chain, okay? Push that to the back, get it out of your way. Go into that chain and do your sing first single crochet. Go into the next one, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and again, here we go. Here's your next loop. Here's the loop at that chain. You're going to go in there, do your single crochet. You should have five single crochets. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, remember on the other side of this chain here, that's where you're going to be putting your next single crochet. Push this to the back and go in there and do your single crochet. Okay single crochet across and that's your next one there you go at the very bottom you're going to go in there single crochet okay the 
the very bottom of this other chain. You're going to go in there, push that to the back, get it out of your way. Okay. And you're going to continue this all the way across, making sure that you have five single crochets. Here's your next one. Here's the bottom of that chain. Push this to the back and go into the bottom of that next chain. Oops, get this out of your way. Okay, pull that out and keep on going. It's the bottom of that chain again. It's very important that you make sure that you have the five single crochet because if you don't your count will be completely off for your next row. It's the bottom of that chain. Okay. The bottom of that chain. Push that to the back. <coughs> continue doing this to the end and I will meet you back there. Okay, here's my last one. I did my single crochet in the last or in that the bottom of that chain. Go to the other side of the bottom of that chain. Push this in the back. Finish the row. Okay, now you may get to the end of this row and go, what? There's no more chains. This is considered your last chain. Okay, so you're going to go into there, pull up your loop, and finish your stitch. All right, now you're going to change colors again. Every time you get to the end and you've got your other tail, that's when you're going to change colors. Okay, so you're going to take Pull up your, take your, your yarn that you're working with, push it to the side. You're going to take your net, your other color. You're going to pull it through. Take your color, tighten that. Okay. Take your base color, chain two. And then you can continue on. Turn your work. You're going to take your color that you just finished using, push it to the side so it's out of your way. Okay, now we're going to continue doing what we were doing before when we were making our loops. This chain counts as your first double crochet. So this, this is considered taken. So you're going to go into your next one and do your double crochet. It's two, three, four. Oops, a little caught up here. Okay, now here's your loop. Right behind that loop, there's this stitch. That's right beside it. Okay, you're going to go into that loop. do your double crochet. All right, so now you're going to go back and count. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and this is how you know that your positioning is right, um, because sometimes if you get your count wrong, your next loop will be off to a, one or the other side. So you know that when you push your, your loop forward, and you've got these two spaces, that is where your loop is going to be. Okay, so now you're going to do your chain 10. Okay, you're going to go into that space like we did before, through here and through here. Okay, you're going to put your hook right through here 
There you go. And do your slip stitch through the two and through that bottom of that loop. Okay. Start your double crochets on this side. One and two. Do five double, <coughs> excuse me, five double crochets. Again, you're at your next loop. You've got your two loops here. Do double crochet. Okay, and then you're going to chain your 10 again. Okay, you're going to go into that space again. Do your slip stitch. Okay, all right, now let's take a look at this. You will notice that your new loop is right behind this loop. That's what you want. Okay, as long as you remember that the loops on either side of this loop. That's where you're going to be working to make your next loop so that when you go back and you put these two together, they are going to lay flat together. Okay? Once you get the hang of this, it will go pretty easily. And if you happen to screw up on one of the um, the rows and you have your count off, you're going to see that this this loop will either be over here or over here and you will see it won't be on top of each other like that. So then you know you've done something wrong and you've got to go back. But make sure that you count this one as a stitch and then you go across and that you get your stitch in here. Okay? That's, that's the beginning. That's where if, if you're going to screw up anywhere, it's going to be there, right? And then it's going to throw everything else after that off. So you got to make sure that you get that beginning right. Okay. So we've done that loop now. Now we're going to go in here and do our double crochet. Okay. Now you see that loop is right on top right behind this loop. Okay. Then go in and do your double crochets. Now as you go keep going you're gonna have loops all over the place. So make sure that when you when you're doing the next loop or next set of single crochets that you're pushing that backwards so it's out of your way and that these are all on the same side. Okay, so here's your next loop. Here's your two your two loops on this next one. You're gonna do your double crochet, chain ten. Go in that space so that you've got your three loops. Pull through and do slip stitch. Okay, get that out of the way. Go into that next loop on that side. Do your double crochet. And make sure that you've got five double crochet. That's three, four, and then you're at your next one. Off that one, and this is your fifth double crochet. If you have to count every one, do it because the worst thing to happen is when you do your next row. And if you've got a long row, if you're doing a blanket or something and you do a long row, having to rip this all out it's a pain and it gets discouraging. So, as long as you make sure 
that you've got your five stitches, you should be fine. there, pull through, pull through, okay, go into your next one, okay. and keep on going. So after this it's basically just a two row repeat. So you've got your loop row and your single crochet row. Okay. Make sure you keep pulling your loop up so it doesn't get all messed up here. Okay. All right, so continue on and I will see you at the end. Okay, so we're at the end of our row. We just have our last five double crochets. So here's the first stitch after you do your, your loop. Two. Oops. Three. Of course, now Bailey's got something to say. Four. And then remember, once again, this chain, this last chain counts. So you're going to go into that chain. Okay. And that will be your last double crochet. So make sure you've got five at the end. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, chain one, turn your work. Now you're going to start your single crochet row. Oops. Okay. Oh, I'm all tangled up in my yarn here. Okay. Now remember, this first one counts. So there you go. Oop. Two, oops, three, four, and there's the bottom of your leg here. It's your five. Okay, make sure you've got your five. Got your one, two, three, four, and five. Here's the bottom of your other side of your leg right here. Push this to the back and go into that stitch and do your single crochet. Okay, so that's your one, two, three, four, the bottom of your leg. There's five. Okay, check your other leg. It's right here. Push that to the back and finish your single crochet. That's one, two, three, four. Here's the bottom of your leg. bottom of that second leg. Push that to the back and do your single crochet. You continue on. Make sure you're counting. This is a pattern where you really need to focus on counting 
and making sure that you have all five stitches. And you're going to continue that all the way across. And another count that you really want to make sure is that you've got 10 of these. I've done it before where I've gone through and I've only done five and I've had to rip it back and go, oh, you know, so make sure you've got five in between, 10 in the loop. <laughs> all right. Okay. So continue on until you are at the end and I will see you when you get back there. Okay, we're at the end. Okay. And remember to put your last um, single crochet in that last leg, that last stitch, okay? All right, now you're going to change colors again. Take your next color, your new color, pull it through, pull that down, and then get it out of the way. Take that color out of the way. You're going to chain two, turn your work, and now you're going to start doing your loops again. You're going to start your double crochets. Remembering, sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry. Remembering that this is, this one counts. Oh, hold on. Okay, so this one counts. Don't go into this one. You go into this one. Okay. And you do your five double crochets. Well, four, actually. Because the first one counts. So, one, two, three, four. <coughs> Here's the bottom of these two stitches are at the top of this loop. And that's where you're going to continue doing that your fifth one. And then you're going to chain up ten and continue on. Alright. And then when you're when you've finished, you go and do the length that you want. do whatever length that you want it to be and you can have all these loops okay and all you're going to do is you're going to take your loops take this bottom one and this top one you're going to take this top one <coughs> sorry hmm life of having a dog <laughs> you're going to take these two loops you're going to take your top loop you're going to put it through that bottom loop and pull it up Okay, and then your next loop, you're going to take it, you're going to put it through here, and you're going to pull it up. And you can continue to do that. Okay, once you've finished the length that you need it for whatever project you are doing, make sure that you end on a single crochet row. Alright, now I'll show you how to finish it off. Now, when when you finish, you should be on the row where you'd be chain, chaining, uh, changing <laughs> colors. Okay, so I would just snip off your other cut, your main color, and just tie it onto the color that you're on, your uh, accent color, and then you can weave in, leave a tail, weave in your ends later. All right. But because this is a swatch, I'm, I'm not going to um, cut my yarn. Okay, so how you finish this off is you're going to um, chain two, turn your work, and now you're going to do a double crochet row. Right. Okay, this one counts, so don't go into this one, go into the next one. And do your double crochet. That's going to each one. So this is your first one, second, third, 
forth. Okay, and here's your loop. Here's your two stitches. It, this is, you're not going to do any more loops. This is just a double crochet row. Okay, so you make sure you go into that loop, that next loop, and you're just going to do double crochets. Okay, it's pretty basic, pretty easy. Okay, and if you want to, you can count and make sure that you've got the five stitches in each section. Just keep going all the way to the end, okay, and then I'll meet you when you're done. Okay, so I'm all finished my row. Don't forget that this last one counts. Oh, this last one counts, so don't forget to put one in there as well. I'm going to chain one, turn your work, and this is where we're going to start putting this whole thing together, okay? So once you've got, oops, got all of your loops here, oh, come on. Okay, you're going to start doing oops, single crochets. Skip that one because that's already taken. Okay, this is where you're going to want to count. So this is one. three, four, and in your fifth one, this is where you're going to grab your last loop. You're going to put it in through the loop, pull your loop out, and finish your single crochet. Go into the next one. So one, Two, three, four, and in your fifth one, you're going to grab your last loop. Oops, my loops came undone. Okay, go in to your loop. Grab your loop and do your single crochet. Go into the next one. Two. Three. Four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, I should have turned off my phone. Okay. your loop and finish your single crochet. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. And grab your loop. Oops. Loops came undone. <laughs> this is why I say to um, use stitch markers to hold them together. Okay, it's your fifth one. Grab your loop and single crochet. One, two, Three, four, on your fifth one, grab your loop, okay, and single crochet. You continue to do this all the way across until you're finished your row, making sure that you have five stitches in between. OK, 
Okay. On your fifth one. Grab your loop. And single crochet. Okay. So. This is what it's going to look like when you're finished. All of your loops will be connected. This is probably blowing out a little bit because of um, the color. Here, I'll turn down my light a little bit. So that's, that's what it will look like when all of your loops are connected. From that point, if you want to put a border around it, you go right ahead. Um, you do whatever you want to do with your project, and uh, but that's the basics of how you do the um, this stitch. You know, I mean, it's a lot of fun to do. Yes, there's counting in it, but um, the outcome of the project is gorgeous. Like, oh, where's my blanket here? Um, I really love the way it works up. See, I put a black border on mine, uh, and I really, I really like the way it turned out. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, I, I would love to see what you make with your Jacob's Ladder. If you want to, you know, post a picture in my Facebook, that would be great. My links are all down below. And uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, email me at crochetacanada at gmail.com. And I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye!